What's up guys, Stax here, with, uh, coming at you with another tutorial today. Um, if my voice sounds a little bit croaky, it's because it's 7 o'clock in the morning, or just gone. And um, anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, today's tutorial is on a little effect called sh um, Trap Code Shine. And it just gives, gives off these really realistic light rays, like here, and whatnot. And it just looks really nice for Twix, though, I'll show you now. And I'm really sorry about this again, guys, my theme was changing. Okay, uh, alright. Alright, now if we just grand preview this, I've added a bit of flicker and this looks really nice with hardcore edits or just normal edits, it's completely up to you what kind you use it for. But here we go. Just like that, that's a really slow Twixter on it, that was um, the ES Twixter and they set it to like 0 0.5. Obviously I'd have it at something like 3, just to make it a bit more smoother and you can just see it looks really nice and really clean. So, um, yeah. And then, so you import your clip, so let me just delete everything I've got on here, and I'll just import a new clip. So if I import... Um, I'm going to import the high-rise kill cam, just because it's outside, it's got a lot of different things for light to come off. Um, just leave it as it is, or work, get to a point where you want the glow to happen. Because you don't have to have it all the way through your edit, you can have it like here, it's the sharp and the light rays appear. But, um, yeah, so go on to the adjustment layer, go to effect, uh, where, where is it, trap code and shine. But I've got my own preset, and I'll just show you what my preset is. Um, it's there, no, there, stack light rays. And um, you can't see them very well at the moment, but once you add a colour correction, so say I added, I don't know. No. Um, say I did. Sorry about that, guys. I really need, oh, should have thought about adding a color correction before I did this, but I'm um, stupid, so I didn't. So, um, you always add this one. Yes, not bad. Okay, and if you grab shine and you put it underneath your color correction, you get these really nice, realistic light rays. And here are my settings, guys. Um, obviously you just set the source point to 5667.7 and then 104.5 and ray length is 5.6 boost light none, zero source opacity 100, shine opacity 50 and you set the transfer mode to add because it will be on normal so you set it to add and then go to colorize and use these colors unless they're already there for you guys so it's Okay, these are the RGB settings, it's 20, two, tw uh, sorry, 255, 167, and 73. Um, mid, the mid-high, I think that's already set, probably you can't change it. With the mid-tones, it is 255, 187, 81, you can copy that down now if you pause the video. And just keep the shadows at black, and then, if you go to Shimmer, Go to amount to zero, detail 10. Just copy down all them settings. So 150 add. And that is basically it, guys. I know it's sort of a basic story today, but I'm really sorry about that. Um, see, it just really looks really nice. And I'm sorry it's a bit of a basic story, guys, but there'll be something more complex to come out tomorrow can't promise how complex it's going to be but I hope you like hopefully there's some preview edits um, again I'm sorry for the basicness of it and this has been Stacks please subscribe like and comment and please get my views up guys send it to your friends favorite whatever okay thanks bye